how do you assess the performance of your car relative to the Mercedes today? Yeah, you can see it's, it's pretty tight and, uh, you know, it's a challenging circuit. Yeah, high speed with walls um, and it's going to be who gets the most out of the tyres, the clean lap, gets the most out of the car and runs as close to the walls as they dare. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fascinating competition. You know, qualifying is going to be crucial like all street circuits and then, you know, of course, anything can happen in, you know, on the, in the race itself. Interesting to see a lot of people struggling on the soft tyre. You guys look like you're struggling more on the soft tyre. Why is it not turning that compound on? Because it looks like the harder it is, the better and the more grip you're getting. Yeah, we, we felt very strong on the hard tyre and the softer in compound we went, the more of a diva the tyre becomes to, you know, to switch on and to get the maximum out of. So um, there'll be a lot of you know, uh, analysis going on into that tonight, outlaps and preparation and all of that kind of thing. So, um, and I don't think from listening to the comments that we were alone in that. I think there were, you know, others, you know, struggling to get to get the car in the right window. But once you unlock that, you can see there's a lot of performance there. We saw Max straight out of the box in the opening practice session, yeah. right on it, very aggressive. Can he afford to be more aggressive than Lewis this week, being that he's got an eight point lead? I think he's just got to go for it. I mean, he's worked incredibly hard, as have the whole team, to get into this position, to be here, you know, two races from the end. Um, you just got to throw everything at it. And this is, you know, Max's kind of circuit, you know, it, high speed, walls, curbs, you know, so you could see he was down to a time quicker than anybody else. Um, and, uh, you know, I spoke to him after the session, he, he's certainly enjoying it. What have you told the team to do for the next couple of weeks? Are they going to need more management? Or are you just going to let them just get on with what they've done? And look, they know everybody in the team knows their role. They know what they've got to do. And the most important thing is to enjoy it. You know, we've worked very hard to get into a position. We've had a wonderful, wonderful year. We've won a lot of races, you know, and finally, you know, Mercedes have a competitor. And uh, I think everybody in the team has just absolutely loved this, this fight so far. And it's all about now the next, it's like two cup finals. You know, so uh, we've just got to do the best we can and, and uh, you know, hope we can come out on top. When we arrived in Qatar, all the talk, of course, was about your concerns about the legality of the, the Mercedes rear wing. You, that seemed to disappear in Qatar. You talked about their top speed sort of around about where you thought it would be. Um, are you satisfied that's the case this weekend? There's nothing more to answer on that one? Well, I think that, you know, after the new test was introduced uh, in Qatar, I think that, uh, you know, we've seen convergence on speed we've seen you know very similar speeds again here today so that's uh that's encouraging and uh you know hopefully that will remain the the, the case at uh, this weekend and next weekend uh